The Path to be Built into a Holy Place, Part 5. How Meaningless, How Foolish. Reverend Dr. Holly Namok Lee, United Methodist Church. Translator, Mrs. Irene Park. Reader, Mr. Jacob Lee. This video is made by Reverend Dr. Holly Namok Lee, who is a minister of the United Methodist Church. She got a degree of Doctor of Ministry at Claremont Theological Seminary in California. She is an executive director of Menowan Ministry. She carries a healing ministry. She is an author of 40 books and led 1,000 revival services and over 200 seminars for minister. Now she lives in California with her husband, Reverend Peter Yongtek Lee. She is the fourth daughter of Dr. Sun Bum Yun, former president of Methodist Theological University in Seoul, Korea. Today, during my prayer time, the Lord said, everything is meaningless, completely meaningless. Everything which belongs to the earth will be destroyed completely. The fame of a politician is futile. Thriving business of a large corporation is futile. Having graduated from Seoul National University and acquiring advanced degrees from Ivy League is meaningless and the YouTube creators' attachment to their popularity is also vain. Anything that does not belong to heaven and anything which does not express me, they are all meaningless. He continued, is there anyone who is richer than Solomon? Is there anyone who has more popularity than Solomon? Is there anyone who has more power and wisdom than Solomon? But did he not lament with his own lips that everything is meaningless, completely meaningless? Apostle Paul confessed after he met me that he considered all his fame, riches, and knowledge as excrements. But do you waste your whole life following after such feces? You accumulate things which are not vital and then let them sit and rot. You invest in the things which are destined to be destroyed, and you still make an effort to acquire filthy, corrupt waste. If you have witnessed a person who ended up in ruins, you should never follow his footsteps. But it seems like you are impatient to experience the same fall. Can the politicians learn only after they have been put into jail? Life is an open book but many people follow other people's mistakes the same way and end up in ruin. I want to shout foolish, foolish, foolish. You who sweat to get the things which are destined to fail, ready to rot and momentary foolish is the most appropriate description of you. One of my friends passed away from a heart attack while preaching at someone's retirement service. At that time, there were about 30 medical doctors present in that church. They performed the emergency procedures while waiting for the ambulance. All attendants at the service prayed for him. He regained consciousness just for a short while, but ended up dying. I thought at the moment, Lord, he has just received the degree and was about to commence the ministry for church as well as for the denomination. What a great loss. But he said, it is not a great loss. He said it so clearly that I was shocked. So I continued. My father was a theologian who could speak nine different languages, but he died at the age of 64. Wasn't that a loss? Your father's early departure, the death of Princess Diana, the death of President Kennedy's son by a plane crash, none of them is a great loss. I was in shock, so I asked again, then whose death would be a great loss? When an anonymous worshiper who worships the Father in spirit and in truth dies, that is a great loss. When a true worshiper who worships in spirit and in truth disappears, that gives a heartbreak to the Lord. As he was teaching me about the process of being built into a sanctuary, 
he emphasized the life which expresses the Lord and explained about the priest. Look at his wardrobe. Isn't he wearing me and hide himself? Even though Aaron was a sinner, he put on the robe of righteousness and accomplished my holy assignments, did he not? Anybody who does not have the covering by me is the most hopeless person. Korean churches are negligent about rearing true worshipers. Instead, they have peculiar interests in the area such as the size of the congregations, the church buildings, their evangelical situation, the pastor's academic clique, and the political backgrounds of the elders. Korean churches stress on the outer man excessively. Their interest is only about the worldly background. If a powerful elder joins the membership, they welcome him more than they would welcome me. And the true worshipers who worship the Father in spirit and in truth are neglected naturally. Korean church is more corrupt than the age of Amos and Noah. How have you reached such miserable state? There are many prayer warriors like Jeremiah who pray for the country with aching hearts. They cry out concern about what might happen to the nation and the church, but they are living in the age in which they cannot do much except cry. The fault lies on both the pastors as well as the church members. Lay people look for a minister who preaches blessings for them and who would give them preferential treatment. Ministers surround themselves with people they like and lead a wrong faith life from the beginning. From now on, pay attention to raising up each and every person into a holy temple. While looking at the Korean church ingrained with shamanism, it would be better to focus on where to go from here, rather than trying to analyze what went wrong and when it all happened. In spite of all, there is still hope for a Korean church for its underlying ability to renew itself. Until now, so many hidden prayer warriors have existed. Numerous number of people have sh shed tears at the early morning prayer meetings. All these will not be in vain. It was necessary for me to teach you about the priest, letting you know who he is. A priest is my chosen person who brings me the sins of people as intercessors. The high priest serves wearing a linen undergarment and the robe that is worn with the ephod. What do they symbolize? They all symbolize me. He is clothed with my righteousness and serves while humbly hiding himself. On his head, he wears a linen turban with a medallion with these words, holy to the Lord. He serves while covering all his shortcomings with the garments which symbolize me. Just like the confession of Apostle Paul, if we live, it's to honor the Lord, and if we die, it's to honor the Lord. It is a duty to hide oneself completely and manifest only me, Jesus Christ. But what about the Korean churches? Are there such servants? Do they not all try to show themselves? The church is misused as a place to magnify themselves. What could possibly be the intention of a minister who leads a worship service wearing an academic gown to show off himself? Are they standing at the podium to glorify my name? Or are they preaching at the podium to hide my glory? Are they standing there to convey their knowledge? What is the underlying intention of wearing a PhD academic gown when they are supposed to proclaim the message from heaven and the message about me? Why do these academic gowns that belong to universities appear at a worship service? PhD gown magnifies the person, not hide the person. Even the grade school kids would know that a PhD gown is something that does not manifest me. Lord, I can see you are very angry toward Korean churches. Why are you so mad? I'd like to know the reason. It is because my expectation toward Korean church has been changed into disappointment. 
I was considering it as the last runner, but its corruption rages me. I want to go down and shake it. I want to rebuild it from the foundation. If possible, I wish I could reset like a computer and start all over again. How long did you think I would endure it? Lord, it is so sad. Witnessing your anger is truly a sad news for those faithful ministers and Christians. That is why my heart aches even more, because there is a small remnant of righteousness still left in Korea. Lord, even if there were just one righteous person in Korea, please remove your anger and open the road to restoration for Korea. There is nothing new under the sun. All new things belong to heaven. I will pour down my new spirit on you. I will give you a new heart for new life and cause new church community, new family community, and new pastors to be born. Do not deceive one another. Do not be fooled thinking that only you are the faithful and part of the remnant. You are the main culprits of this corruption. Everyone is corrupt and it is impossible to find the righteous. Do not exclude yourself from here. Restore what I will pour down on you. New spirit, new anointing, new song, new praise, new humility, new serving, and new relationship. Drink new wine and discipline new life. New devotion, new training in order to produce new fruit. Like a priest, take care of the outer man and faithfully accomplish the duty as a priest in church, family, and society. Lord, I repent. I put ashes on my head and repent. And please deal with my tongue, which overissues repentance. Please forgive this repentance with words only. Forgive our weakness for repenting in words only. Korean church has double standards. The outside is different from inside. How cowardly and how mean. You live as the slaves of Satan who is the father of all lies. And do you still want to receive the blessings from me? You hypocrites. Why are you trying to deceive me? How much longer should I be cheated? I never considered you as my children. You are the children of the enemy. But Father, even though we are such foolish children, I know your love, mercy, and compassion are everlasting. Bestow your mercy upon us one more time. I remember the tears of the Lord from the past because of the absent of healing ministry in churches. He wept because the ministers he had called were not doing the ministry as he wanted and only busy being interested in the church politics. Today, again, I felt the tears of the Lord. It was heartbreaking tears toward Korean churches. Would he really judge by the verdict? No, I could feel his aching heart for using such strong expressions. I wanted to cry with him, wanted to cry hoping for the solutions which are unseen. It seemed like the Lord felt the same sorrow as the time when he prophesied the destruction of Jerusalem. I remember the time when he imparted his tears on me. Nonetheless, I'll keep praying for his mercy. Lord, lead us so that this cry may be changed into joy and produce fruit in the future. Lead each of us to be erected as a priest and be built into your holy sanctuary. In Hebrew, menua is an adjective that describes being restful. We use the term menua as a noun. Please hit the subscribe button for Yunnamo TV, News from Heaven, thank you for watching this video.